What's going on guys, Ryan O'Toole back here again, giving you guys another Blu-ray haul. If you guys are new here, feel free to click that subscribe button and that bell notification icon for more reviews, reactions, rankings, and more movie content. Welcome to the Blu-ray haul for July 2019, guys. I'm super excited to get into this Blu-ray haul, as always, with every video like this. Let me know down below in the comment section what Blu-rays you picked up this month of July. Did you pick up a lot? Did you pick up very little? Did you pick up only one movie? I have some very exciting releases I can't wait to show you guys, so let's get right into it. As always, we're going to start with the older releases first. In this first Blu-ray right here, I got to give a special shout out to an amazing YouTuber named Dave Lee Down Under. If you guys don't know who Dave Lee Down Under is, he's an amazing YouTuber. I'm going to leave his channel link in the description below. I commented on one of his videos about a Cinderella Blu-ray and lucky enough I was one of the three lucky winners of that Cinderella Blu-ray which I got right here thank you so much Dave for uh, sending this to me and he's an amazing youtuber guys go check him out I remember watching the original Cinderella back when I was a kid and I wasn't crazy about it all around I thought the animation is great as always but when it comes to Disney's classics, I don't re-watch this one a lot, and I just actually uh, watched the remake of Cinderella in preparation for The Lion King, and I actually think the remake is better than the original. I thought the remake was much more to me, and that it felt more human. It's not my cup of tea, but hey, it's a Disney classic, so whatever Disney classics are out there, I'm building up my collection, so now... I have it. Next I picked up for $5.99, I got American History X with Edward Norton and Edward Furlong. A really good movie and a really good deal. Uh, Best Buy has really good deals for $5.99 Blu-rays and this movie is really fantastic all around. In terms of Edward Norton's performances, this is definitely one of his better ones for sure. It's a really gritty film, it's really hard to watch and Edward Furlong was also really good too and another really good performance for him not just Terminator 2 all around and yes I definitely need to rewatch this film because I thought it was really good when I first watched it. Next for $8.99 I picked up David Fincher's version of The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. To be honest I haven't seen it. I haven't seen a lot of David Fincher movies and I'm happy to own this one and added a really good deal and I've heard of many great things about this. Rooney Mara, Daniel Craig's in it and I've heard they give amazing performances all around and yeah it's Hailed is one of David Fincher's best films, so I'm happy to own it in the collection. Another film I also haven't seen yet, and I'm glad I picked this up because I've been holding off on it, and now I have it. That is Moon, directed by Duncan Jones, starring Sam Rockwell. I've always wanted to watch this movie. I'm really impressed with Sam Rockwell as of recently for all the movies he's been in. And I've heard this is his best performance, according to a lot of people. Even though, for me personally, I think Three Billboards is his best performance. But still, I'm very excited to watch Moon. The Last Samurai, an extremely underrated Tom Cruise movie, directed by Edward Zwick, one of his best films. And I love this movie, the Japanese settings all around. Tom Cruise is amazing, Ken Watanabe, I love Edward Zwick's cinematography in the storytelling all around and this was also $5.99 at Best Buy. Yeah, to be honest, I did not expect a good movie like this to be at this price, but hey, if you see The Last Samurai for $5.99 at Best Buy, you need to pick it up. Next I picked up for 8 bucks at Best Buy, I believe Ryan Johnson's best film, Looper. I'm gonna be reviewing Looper leading up to Knives Out, Ryan Johnson's next film, and then ranking all of Ryan Johnson's movies, but yes, Looper is definitely Ryan Johnson's best film. I love this movie. Joseph Gordon, love it. This is one of his best performances. Such a good transformation for him. And Bruce Willis gives seriously the best performance in a long, long time. He actually does try to act in this film. And I also love Emily Blunt. It's such a great sci-fi movie. Great time travel aspects as well. I thought Joseph Gordon Lovin and Bruce Willis worked really well together. Their performances are so damn good. And Ryan Johnson adds his great angles, his great dialogue, and his own filmmaking. And yes, it definitely has a Last Jedi feel. But if you love and appreciate Ryan Johnson, then you know Looper's amazing, and I'm super excited for Knives Out, man. Pretty dead month for new releases this month, but I picked up some of my favorite films this year so far, and 
This is, in my opinion, the most underrated film of the year. Missing Link. Leica Studios is Missing Link. I love Missing Link. I just rewatched this, and man, it still gets me, man. I love this movie. I think it's one of Leica's funniest movies to date. Hugh Jackman as Sir Lionel Frost, Zach Galifianakis, Zoe Zaldana, like the cast is so good. Some of the villains were amp, but I just love the adventure aspects and I love those banters back and forth between Lionel Frost and Susan. I'm still really depressed this movie did terrible at the box office because I think it's one of the best films this year. Animated films all around, the animation is like photorealistic. So yes, if you haven't seen Missing Link, watch it. And the last Blu-ray I picked up this month is going to be my pickup of the month. Shazam! Shazam! Really good DCU movie, and I have the 4K Steelbook. I love this Steelbook. Thank God, because I'm so mad at DC and Warner Brothers how they do their Steelbooks. Those comic book Steelbooks, I'm not a fan of them. Thank God it wasn't like this. I love this Steelbook. And you guys know that I really like Shazam. I thought it was a hilarious movie, a good new direction for the DCU, and just not focusing on seriousness and focusing on a more light-hearted film. I love Zachary Levi's Shazam, Jack Dylan Grazer from It, great once again, and Mark Strong as the villain, Dr. Savannah. He's my favorite DCU villain. And I just love the good balances of seriousness, emotion, and just action-packed sequences. And Shazam, it definitely holds up on rewatch. I really enjoyed this movie all around, and yeah, Shazam! There you have it guys, that was my Blu-ray haul for the month of July 2019. Not a lot of Blu-rays, I really hope next month is even better. Avengers Endgame comes out August 13th, super excited about that. Once again, let me know all the Blu-rays you picked up this month down below. Let's have a great discussion. Thank you guys as always for watching this Blu-ray haul. All my social media links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.